Hello. Hey, Jeff. Brandon, how are you? I'm good, Brandon. How are you doing? Doing great. Did you and Donna, did you guys end up selling the property on Woody yet? Uh, I actually, I have, uh, I've had a couple people up there and up and yeah, no. Okay. I've been trying to get a hold of Donna. I know at one point you guys were open to interviewing agents. Have you gone down that path just yet or to make up, make some physical follow-up Monday calls? This is where I would say I get most of my listing business is from this slot and Monday afternoons. So bear with me and we will see what we can make happen today. So again, I mean, I cannot stress this enough, how important following up with for sale by owners really is. I mean, it'll be the reason that you either succeed or fail with for sale by owners. Hi, Brendan. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? I'm fine. Thank you. Good, good. Good to uh, catch up with you. Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, no, this is a good time. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, hey, just wanted to follow up and kind of touch base and see what you're thinking. You've got uh, the other property that you're thinking about uh, listing with an agent. And I know you had some questions about the commission, right. right? So one of the things that we have to abide by in our MLS system is that we do offer a 3% buyer agent commission. Now, however, one of the things that we can talk about doing, are we gonna meet at the property and, and go through this or are you out of town? Uh, I'm, yeah, I, I, we can go through if you, if you like to uh, go, go there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, what I'd like to do is schedule time to come and look at the property and then I'll walk you through our flexible commission program because there's really three options that we have when it comes to commission. And then you and I can decide what makes the most sense. Is that fair? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Will you please give me a property before we go, before we move there? Yeah, you, you can give me some ideas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, what you're looking at, it doesn't even, you know, the way that uh, our, our program works essentially is depending on where the buyer comes from is how – we're going to determine how much commission is paid. As an example of that is our goal is to be what we call dual agent. What that means is that there's only one agent involved with the transaction. As an example of that, you would only pay a 3% commission total. That's it. And so I'll walk you through that in more detail so you can see it in black and white because to go through it over the phone will just cause more confusion, but that's an example. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. So you are not going, it uh, sounds like that you are not going in the direction of a uh, labor way. No, no, I am, I am. Uh, that's what I'm saying. To go through it on the phone, I'm telling you right now, I've been doing this for 14 years, it's gonna cause you so much confusion. And so when we get together, I will walk you through exactly how it works, uh, which is exactly what you're expecting to get. Is that fair? Uh, sure. But uh, my, you see, uh, uh, my understanding is 3000 for, uh, for, 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 uh, for, for your part. Well, that's what I'm saying. That, that, that's where you're getting confused. That's a, that's worst case scenario. Um, is if we have to pay a buyer's, if you have to pay two agents. So if you, right? So trust me, when we get together, I'm gonna walk you through it, answer all of your questions. And then from there, you will say, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. And so I promise that will be the first thing that we go over when I see the house, okay? Oh, okay. What? Like a, a way. Yep, that's exactly what, what I'm going to walk you through. Okay. What's the property address uh, that we're that we're discussing? Yeah, uh, I sent an email to Colleen. Uh, so did he, uh, she? I know that she. Uh, she she copied you. Uh, I don't know, but include that email. So I can, I can. No problem. I tell you, but it's just my spelling not so good. 
So he did the three six six nine. Uh, are that ways I, I email or text you? You can text me. This is my number. This is my cell phone number. So feel free to text me on this number at any time. Okay. Oh, okay. I text you. So when when do you want to meet? Um. Let's do this. So I've got how I've got right now Wednesday or Thursday afternoon open right around two p.m. Does Wednesday or Thursday work better for you? Uh. So you want to do? Why don't we do Wednesday at one p.m.? Wednesday at one p.m. is fine. Perfect. Okay. And uh, did you find the address? Okay, yeah, just perfect. Just text. Is this an is this an investment property that you own? Um, this one we lived there for uh, for a couple of years, and then we rented it for a few years. Is this one in Troy as well? It is in Troy. Yeah, I can I can I, I can uh, tell you the address by phone. Just you don't need to write it down because I don't know. My spelling is uh, correct, but I can, I can uh, just uh, maybe we go across the, uh, and then I send uh, send you by by email by I mean by text, uh, text. Uh, uh, by text message. Yeah. Okay. You, you why don't we do this? Just text it to me. When you find it, just shoot me a text, and then I'll see you Wednesday at one p.m. You're welcome. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, so good. There's an appointment set for Wednesday, and that's an actual listing appointment. But let's keep rocking and rolling. So these follow-up calls are not in my dialer. These are all through what I believe is the best CRM in the world. It's my FISBO follow-up uh, folder. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Hey, Brad. Good afternoon. It's Brandon. Hope all is well. Hope you had a great weekend. Just wanted to follow up with you, touch base, kind of see what your plans are moving forward. Give me a shout back when you can. It's about doing the work. Hello. Hey, Tawana. Hi, Brandon. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? Okay. Good. Catch you at a bad time? Actually, I'm at lunch and I'm still in Texas. Oh, okay. No worries. Are you are you back in town next week still? Is that the plan? Yes. All right. I, yeah. I so will. I can, go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm just, I can call you when I get back, or if you need to talk to me now, I don't know. Nope. I'll just touch a base and see. You know, I'll, I'll touch base with you next week, and then uh, we'll firm up some time to get together next week and go through all the details, and we'll get to work. Okay. Sounds good. Sound good? Yep. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Have a good week. Oh, you too. All right. Bye bye. Just pushing people through the funnel. That's all I'm doing. Pushing people through the funnel. The whole thing is you just got to be consistent to build a nice, huge, awesome, mature funnel. Come on. Hello. Hi, Hassan. Yes. Hey, Brandon. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Hey, I just wanted to be brief. Did you accept an offer on your condo in Rochester yet? Uh, no. You didn't? Okay. Yeah, I know I was going to try to get there uh, last Friday, but I didn't get a chance. And so I wanted just to follow up and see where you're at with things and see if you might be open to other options or just kind of get your overall feedback. Yeah, I want to um, wait uh, another week or maybe two mm -hmm. before before I uh, change the strategy or hire a sales agent or something. Makes sense. Totally makes sense. Um, are you, and I hate to have you, I know you live in Grand Blank, uh, do you work closer to the condo? Like, would you be able to meet me on your way home from work so we wouldn't have to drive all the way out there? No, actually, I work in Grand Blank. Oh, you work in Grand Blank. Okay. All yeah. right. 
I would love to still see it this week. Are you going to be around the area at all, like Thursday or Friday again? Um, I don't know, but I'll let you know if someone calls and want to see it, like one of these days. Oh, that's perfect. I can, I can call you and we can meet there. All right. I'm going to, um, yeah, that's perfect. And I'll just probably follow up with you on Wednesday or something just to touch base to see what the rest of your week looks like. Fair enough. Sounds good. All right, Hassan. Best of luck, and uh, I'll be in touch. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. This, that's a condo I really want to list, and you just heard him, right? So he just keep, keep touching base, keep building on the relationship. Um, he wants another week or two before changing his strategy, and that's how this whole thing goes. This is what I do every day, all day. Call. Go on appointments. No, appoint no, call. no call. appointments. I try to call more. Voice message system. Hi, Julie. It's Brandon. Hope all is well. Hey, just wanted to follow up with you guys. Uh, had a great meeting, obviously, with you guys last week. Just seeing if there's any questions I can answer for you at this time. Give me a call when you can. Hi, Jack. Good afternoon. It's Brandon. Hope all is well. Listen, I just wanted to follow up with you and see kind of uh, what the status is of your property that you're thinking about listing. Uh, give me a call back, Jack, when you can. Nothing exciting here, right? Just boring, mundane work. Setting an appointment, going on those appointments. Hi, George, Brandon, Mulrenna, how are you? Hi, okay, thank you. Good, good. Hey, I just wanted to follow up. I know I was trying to get in touch with you last week and see what your plans are with your property that you're looking to sell. Uh, I'm listing it with another uh, realtor. Oh, good. Okay, and are you guys on the market yet? Is it live on the market? It is. It is, okay. And how much is the asking price now? 245 245 okay perfect we'll see what we can do to help you guys get it sold all right thank you thanks george all right bye yep bye-bye there you go happens all the time he listed it with somebody else i don't get mad about it i don't think about it i don't care about it um all it tells me is for sale by owners are listing their houses with fizbos or fizbos are listing their houses with agents every single day it's just who's it going to be and i probably didn't follow up with that guy enough. Again, I call through this folder every Monday, and then I have a daily folder too with a lot less people in it. I'm just moving them from one part of the program to the next. Hello? Hi, Gene. Brandon Mulrennan, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Good. Hey, just uh, following up, did you accept an offer on your property in Wickensham? No, not yet. Okay, cool. And I know the last time we talked, we were talking about maybe getting together and talking about some different strategies and tactics. Are you open to that at this point, or what are your thoughts? Uh, we, we have an agent. Okay. Did you guys get it listed? Yes. You got it listed. Okay. And how much are you guys asking? Uh, 460 460 Okay. Because you guys were at 486 before, correct? Yeah. Yeah. We thought probably a little too high for the neighborhood. I got you. Okay. Well, listen, I will. Uh, my team and I will see what we can do to bring you a buyer, and we'll go from there. That'd be great. Thank you. All right, Brandon. Oh, yep. Yeah, Bye-bye. Again, another FISBO that's listed with an agent, and it wasn't me, probably, again, because I didn't fucking follow up enough. So I never lost a listing because I followed up too much, but I lose them from not following up. $450,000 listing, gone, lost it. And again, I don't think about it. I just keep rocking and rolling. Hello. Hey, Jeff, Brandon, how are you? I'm good, Brandon. How are you doing? Doing great. Did you and Donna, did you guys end up selling the property on Woody yet? Uh, I actually, I have, uh, I've had a couple people up there and up and yet, no. Okay. I've been trying to get a hold of Donna. I know at one point you guys were open to interviewing agents. Have you gone down that path just yet? or? We, you know, we already got a guy, Brandon. Cool. No worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I heard a guy a couple weeks ago. Good for you. So he, he, right. he went ahead and listed the property on the market, correct? All right. Yep. Well, very good. Well, wishing you guys best of luck. Thanks, Brandon. Hey, not a problem. Talk to you soon. See you, Jeff. Again, there's another example. I mean, you just got to stay in front of these people all the freaking time. They all end up listing. Yeah. So, Michael, yeah. After they're listed, then I'm done. I'm probably done at that point. So, I have one folder for each month. So, when I talk to somebody and say, hey, we're looking to sell next year, I throw them in a folder. I have one folder for my hottest leads, my now listing appointments, and I've got my Monday folder, and that's it, because they're all right in front of me. I can't fucking lose them, but today, I've been losing a lot of these listings. Hello. 
Hi, Sandy. It's Brandon. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Just wanted to follow up with you and Greg. How's uh, how's the sale moving along with your property there? Did you guys get it sold? Yes, we did. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we're just uh, waiting for... Oh, it's FHA, so they got to do an inspection, so we're just kind of waiting on that. But he already had one inspector in, and it passed. But we're waiting. I think the mortgage company is requiring a... Um, a water test and a, uh, on the septic and um, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, that makes a lot of sense. If something pops up, Sandy, and you need any assistance, let me know on that. But my other question is, are you guys still thinking about selling the rest of your rentals this year or next? Yeah, we are working on. Uh, we have um, our Flint Ridge property up for sale. Uh, we haven't posted it or listed it yet, but we do have an offer on it already. Awesome! No, that's great. Yeah. Yes. How do so I? We got it. How do I get you and Greg out for a nice steak dinner so we can finally meet? Well, I do want to meet you, that's for sure. Uh, and he has conceded that our other lady is definitely out. Okay. And I kind of told him, I thought that, you know, with your persistence that should we need a realtor, we definitely will hire you. Awesome. No, I appreciate that, Sandy. Yep. And so yep. I'll stay in touch and let me know when you guys want to grab a cup of coffee seriously. And just, yeah. me, just me. We don't need to commit to doing anything right now. But I would love to walk you guys through our flexible commission program and all of those things that we've talked about in the past. So that, yeah, that sounds good. If it, um, for yeah. sure, uh, you know, the other two properties are gone. But we do have, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm at my Sherry Drive house right now. Okay. My tenant just moved out. And uh, we're looking at what we need to do over here to get it on the market. And it's going to need a whole lot of work. Okay. But we, 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 had, we thought about remodeling it. Um, and really ripping down some walls and really making the kitchen bigger and whatnot. My husband's now telling me we're going to leave it as is and just have it recarpeted and painted. Yeah, I think. Because, can... yeah, we've putting all that money into it. We're not sure we can get the money out in this neighborhood, you know? That's exactly right. Where's that one at on Sherry Drive? It's 818. 818 Sherry. It was my mother in law's house. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we got it in 2012. Okay. And uh, we've had it rented since the 2012 um, when we got the house. And uh, we decided now this is one that's going to go. It's cool. got a well also. So we're trying to just kind of get rid of the wells. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't just, blame you. I don't blame you. What do you know? What do they look for when they inspect a well and septic? Do you know? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just, well, the septic, they're just making sure there's no cracks in the septic tanks, right? And so... Uh, and then the well, it's mostly about the water, but making sure there's no damage to the well. But every time you do an FHA, they're going to they're gonna test that water for sure 100% of the time. Yeah, okay. So obviously cash and conventional makes it easier when you're, when you're dealing with well and septic, but it is what it is. Yeah. The other is, uh, is conventional, but this one is FHA. So Got we'll it. see what happens with this. I don't know. Um, the well's okay. You know, the water pressure is not that great in that house, though, so I don't know what's okay. going to come up with. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, well, yeah. if you're around this week, I don't mind stopping by, look at Sherry to see what you have there. I'll give you some recommendations as well. Are you around in the afternoon Thursday? Yeah, you know what? I would like to meet you. We would like to meet you, even though we're not ready to poke, you know, list with you yet. But sure. uh, yeah, we'd at least, at least like to, you know, get a you get a look at us and us get a look at your face. That'd be then, great. Uh, yeah, and then take it from there. So uh, probably better. Um, well, you know what? We are kind of pressed this week, only because we're leaving out of town on Sunday. And we'll be gone until the 7th. Oh, okay. So it might be better, and we're not going to do anything in this house until that time, probably. So it might be better for us just to shoot for that following week when we get back so that we can meet you. And you can look at our Sherry uh, property and just give us some ideas of what you think, if, if you're willing to do that. No problem. Uh, and then, um, you know, if something comes up and we want to hire a, an agent, we'll definitely shoot anything your way. No, that sounds good. We'll just, uh, I'll plan on following up the week of the 8th, which is just next week, essentially. And right. then we can. Uh, well, it would be the following week because we're going to be gone the week of the 8th. Oh, got it. Time. You come back okay. the following week, the week of the 15th. Yeah. Right. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I have no problem coming over to check out the house. And, and uh, I think what you said is exactly right. We'll have a chance to meet, make some recommendations, right. and then we'll just go from there. Thank you, Brandon. Of course. Thanks for calling. You got to have a great trip, Sandy. Thank you. Bye okay, bye-bye. So that's what I built my career on, which was the call you just heard, was, is how I built my career. Um, so, yeah, that's right, Matt. Persistence. I mean, you just heard her. Thank you for being so persistent. If we're going to hire an agent, we're going to hire you. I've not met, met with her. I've not had a face-to-face -face with her yet. 
zero. And so that doesn't change anything for me. I just keep following up, keep following up. So I'm gonna just put her on my calendar to follow up with her. And that's a, that's a great listing opportunity. So make sure you're following up with all your FISBOs forever. That's what I teach all of you to do. If you stop calling, there's people like me calling and we get the listing. Follow up with Sandy. I'm gonna put on my counter, get listing. So again, gives you guys an insight of how these calls go. Hopefully, um, again, hopefully you guys are doing some of this stuff. So Jason, I like it. Just have to work on my follow-up system. I really want a very simple tracking system so I know when to follow up with who. Dude, I'm telling you, I took everything, Jason and, and gang, my conversion went through the fucking roof when I got out of my CRM and oversimplified everything. And go to fucking Home Depot, get some manila folders, and put people in there. I mean, it's pretty, like, I don't know how much simpler it is than that. I call Fizbo's in the morning. You guys saw me do that this morning. I got five leads right here. These leads, I got one appointment. The other five are going in this same folder. And then they all get a call next Monday. And I just do that forever until they become a hotter lead. Then they go in my daily folder. It's like, couldn't be more simple than that. These CRMs make it so much more complicated. It doesn't have to be that hard. All right, so that's it for now. I'll be back with you guys later. Get on the phone, start setting appointments. Let's go. Let's have a huge, huge week.